Hey everyone, Mr. Browning, I'm 1911 here, and also have Lucky here, so he's starring in this video again. Today I'm going to do another vintage MRE review, and my selection for today is dun 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 a vintage ham and chicken loaf yum yum with bean component and again not for pre-flight flight use I really want to take one of these up in the plane again and watch it blow up but anyway the ham and chicken loaf was probably when I was in was probably the most hated meal we found these in more garbage bins than possibly the tuna and noodles although I really like the tuna and noodles you didn't hear me say that but a ham and chicken loaf even back then in the day when you open that thing up there was a horrible horrible smell and but we're gonna see how this one lasted since well we'll find out what the date code is on this alright I'm gonna use my East German bayonet cut this one open alrighty one East German bayonet and here comes Lucky alright set that off to the side let's go ahead and see what we got in here got our accessory packet and we got accessory packet C and we've got coffee, cream substitute, sugar, candy, salt, chewing gum, matches and paper toilet. Always good to have a paper toilet out there. Oh these crackers oh no you can definitely see these crackers they have lost I mean just Look at that, they've lost their vacuum. Oh, those are going to probably smell really nice. Peanut butter! Oh my god. I bet this one held up real well. Oh yeah, we'll need that baby now. Okay, we got ourselves some peanut butter. Old style MCI spoon. And... Let's take a look here. Ah, yes. Dehydrated pears. Mm-mm. Ham and chicken loaf. That one's going to go down real nice. Not. And then beans with tomato sauce. Now, we got a date code. It looks like it says 6254. So is this... This was... Manufactured in 1986. Well, we'll see what the other date code has to say. So no, oh, here we go. Yep, this one is 6268. So this is a 1986 vintage MRE. All right. And there you have everything right there. So let's go ahead and open up the crackers. I might as well get the uh, probably the worst part out of the way. Prepare yourself, Lucky. Yeah, there's no hiss, there's no nothing. <laughs> oh, God. Look at those. Those things are like almost powder. Here we go. Smell test. Oh! Wow! Oh, dude, what do you think those smell like? <coughs> oh, yeah. oh, damn. Oh, I, I'm trying to place the smell, but I can't. Okay, they're all in pieces here. But it's not an overpowering smell. I mean, it's not like... Okay, now it is. My mistake. Moldy gym socks, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Oh God, that is. Mm. Oh, I can smell it from here. Yeah, that's that's really bad. Oh, Lucky is 
turning away real fast. All right, he's leaving. He doesn't even want that anymore. Let's go ahead and go into the accessory packet here. Ah, yes. Another vanilla fudge bar. Uh, my last uh, uh, 1988 uh, MRE. The fudge bar, the vanilla fudge bar actually lasted pretty well. It did really good. Here we, of course, we have our trusty paper toilet. Ah, uh, yes. So we got our John Wayne paper. Put that underneath the spoon. We got the rest of the stuff here. There's our gum. Ooh, cream substitute. That that seems to have held up really nice. Book of matches, of course. Hey, that coffee is really good. It's not even hard. Ooh, we might even try that. Sugar and iodized salt. I'll probably definitely need that for the ham and chicken loaf just to even make it palatable. All right. And the gum. Although it does look like it held up pretty well. I mean, it's not crumbling or anything, but it's probably hard as a rock. I'll probably break a tooth this time. Okay. The dehydrated pears. I bet you this is more in powder now, too. Now, of course, the thing is, is a lot of us, we ate this, th this stuff dry. Uh, some of us did reconstitute it. Yeah, it's just in pieces. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to go ahead and pour some water in there and just go ahead and reconstitute it now. Let it sit there and add just a little bit of water there. And oh, look at that. It's like it's just dissolving in the water. All right, beans with tomato sauce. My 88 one, the beans lasted really well. Of course, one thing about beans is that they can last a long time. Here comes Buddy, he's gonna, tr or Lucky, he's gonna try another. I keep saying Buddy because I have another cat named Buddy, but he never comes out. But the beans, a little story. But a couple friends of mine and I, back in Nevada, we uh, went through a, a, an old abandoned mine and we found a bunch of cans that were still sealed. Some were rusted out, but some of them were pretty good. And we opened one can up, and it was beans. And we wanted to find out how, what the date was, and we found out that the, the beans were about 100 years old. And yes, I did eat some of it. And they were pretty good. Let's try the... Ham and chicken loaf. Oh boy. Oh my god, look at how old that thing is. Ham and chicken loaf. And then there's the date code 62066. Oh yeah. It feels like a really thick ham slice. We'll find out if that really is. Okay, let's take the spoon here. Mix up our pears. Oh yeah, the pears are looking really nice. Okay, now the next thing peanut butter. Let's see how that baby lasted. I'm pretty sure peanut butter will probably last longer than the cheese spreads usually do. Okay. Nothing like real old peanut butter. Uh, yeah, really? look at that. Oops. It looks like peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, it smells exactly like peanut butter. Let's go ahead and just take a 
taste test of it. You want some, Lucky? No, you're not a peanut butter kind of guy. Tastes like peanut butter. Mm. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> If Backwoods Bob would stop laughing back there. Okay. Oh, it's just trying to get around the smell. Mm. Okay. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. That hit the tongue right away. Oh. Oh. I can smell them back here, so. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm going to have some more of that peanut butter. That's a better taste. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and make up the coffee here. Now I'm going to use cold water. No big deal. We'll make it like an iced coffee. Sometimes in the field, you really don't have a choice. Uh, Lucky's back. He's probably going to drink some of the water. Yep, there he goes. Oh yeah, that coffee looks just like a powder. that in there and now it's like cocoa powder yeah it does look a lot like cocoa powder I don't usually put creamer in my coffee I like my coffee black but we'll see how this you gotta throw some of that in your pears <laughs> yeah you can actually do that we've done that in the past that's right that's something I totally forgot let's put a little bit of creamer on the pears it gives it a nice little texture and then we'll pour the rest in there. Okay. Um, oh, there's my stone. Let's mix up the pears with a little bit Add of cream. Some sugar to it. Yep. There we go. Look at how thicker that much thicker that's getting because it's it's uh, working with the syrup that is originally in the pears. So you can see how much thicker it look makes it look a little nicer. So and then what we'll do here. Clean off our spoon, mix up our coffee. Yeah, the creamer is clumping because the water is cold, but that's okay. You can't have coffee. You're too young for coffee, it'll stunt your growth. Okay, got that. And we just take a little bit of the sugar. We'll add that to our pears. Oh yeah, that sugar's a little clumpy, but I'm pretty sure it's still okay. Smells good. So I've got a little bit of sugar in there to add to our pears to make them a little more sweeter. Oh god, those crackers, man. <laughs> oh, I can't even see how lucky can sit next to them. Okay, maybe not. Alright, so I've got a little bit of that. I don't really like sugar in my drink, so. Okay, let's test out the coffee here. All nice and clumpy. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, that tastes like Starbucks. Mm. Oh, God, that's. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and open up our beans here. Okay, this bag's a little harder to get open than the last one. All right, there you go. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, that smells really good. 
but get it out of here. I'm telling you, beans last a long time. If you're ever in a survival situation or, you know, it's the end of the world kind of thing, get yourself beans. Lots and lots of pork and beans. Western beans, whatever. Those things will last forever. Now I'm getting it all over the place. Ugh. I can see why they moved from these spoons to the big MRE spoons. Okay. Alrighty. And yeah. Those beans don't look too bad. Alright, let's taste test this. Yeah, they are good. Just like the last set of beans, they are good. Alright, Bucky. Alright, ham and chicken loaf. Wish me luck. Hmm. Actually, doesn't smell too bad. Yeah, it looks the same. <laughs> yep, it still looks exactly the same as it did back in those days. Oh my god! Kind of like a funky spam-looking stuff. Yeah, it. What it is is it's just all chopped up ham and chicken and just glued together with some kind of uh, gelatin material. So. And that's what it pretty much looks like. Uh-oh, Lucky's getting to the juices. Now I've got juices all over me here. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to taste test it first. Fine. You get that side, I'll take this side. Alright, uh-oh. He moved away really quick. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's an omen. And you kind of look at it. Yeah, it's like you got the ham inside wrapped around with chicken. It doesn't smell bad. Man, this is a real. <laughs> hey, 